Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano was just finished yesterday. I was a little bit skeptical. This customer asked, um, this, this beautiful 1903 Fisher was, uh, it was gorgeous. It was, it was a mahogany, rich, dark wood. And the customer asked us to um, do it in white. And I was a little bit skeptical that this was gonna turn out really well. She showed me, showed me some, some like um, Pinterest pictures, chalk paint, or, or whatever people had done themselves, and and I was like, well, I she, she's like, do you think that'll turn out okay? Do you think that'll look good? And I was like, I don't know. I said we will do our best, and, and so this was the first one that we've that we've done, and I'm so proud of it. I'm so amazed by how this turned out that I wanted to do this video to sort of show it off a little bit. Um, so. I guess, I guess the first thing that I would say, I, I mean, it, it's gorgeous. It, it looks incredible. I don't know if you can see this video, like, like how all of that brass hardware looks. Um, combined with this decal, this decal, of course, is a um, replica of what was there originally. Um, and all this brass hardware, like the lock and the hinges and, the, and these little knobs. Um, yeah, and you got a shot of the pedals. The pedals are gorgeous. And by the way, this piano also has, this is just, if you're wondering, it also has this um, installed, which is a, a silent play system, so that you can play this piano silently as well as play it like a normal piano. That's what that is. But uh, anyway, this piano is, is absolutely beautiful, and it's, and it's lacquer. It's a tough, tough lacquer. This is not just a cheap like hardware store paint or something like that. It's, it's lacquer, which is, which is what um, many, many piano manufacturers have used for, for many decades. It's just got, got a white tint to it. And in fact, that's what we do on our black pianos as well, as we use a lacquer that has a black tint in it. So um, super, super smooth to the touch. I mean, it feels just like soft and smooth. You, there's no grittiness to it at all, like you might feel on a, on a white wall or something. Um, and then also these little, these little white bumpers um, are, are just kind of a cool little extra final added touch. So um, from a style standpoint, this piano is really cool and really unique. This is not something that we do every day. And then I'll mention this also. I actually had a um, a customer uh, that I tuned for. I did her piano every year for, and I actually still do. Yeah, but there was a period of a number of years where every time I'd show up a year later, a year later, a year later, the piano would be a new, crazy, different Pinteresty color. So like neon purple, and then the next year would be turquoise, and the next year would be like this bright, super cool green. Um, and she would redo it. Orange was one, I remember. Anyway, um, you know, it was, it was cool and cute, and it was fun, and it fit her style. She's, she's a very colorful, um, bubbly person. Um, and, and it was fun, it fit the room and everything. Um, but where, where I would say that is like so totally different from this is, is that, was, that was paint. And you could tell, and you look at the details, you, you frankly don't even have to look that hard, and you see, okay, this is a very amateur job. Whereas this is like, I mean, this is a full refinishing, super, super professional and gorgeous and smooth to the touch. Everything is just um, turned out absolutely top-notch and professional, uh, totally different. And, and then, of course, the endurance of something like a lacquer will be dramatically different from from what you see on Pinterest, the, the paint. Anyway, so I wanted to just make this video um, quickly to show off this work, uh, unique, and very proud of how this turned out.